Historically, we had three covalent BTK inhibitors improved. There was abrutinib, acalabrutinib, and xanabrutinib. Uh, more recently, abrutinib has lost its uh, approval and indication within the United States, but it's still available worldwide. As a whole, uh, efficacy of these three covalent BTK inhibitors has always been presumed to be equivalent. Uh, obviously, the difference being of these drugs, abrutinib being the first generation, acalabrutinib, xanabrutinib being second generation drugs, has been in the toxicity profiles, with the two second generation drugs having an improved toxicity profile as compared compared to ibrutinib. And so what we took in this situation is just looked at a real world data set to try to compare sort of time to start uh, efficacy uh, of some of these covalent BTK inhibitors. Um, surprisingly, what we saw is that it did appear to be an improvement in overall response rate um, and duration of response with xanabrutinib versus ibrutinib. Some of this could be confounded because of the situation with ibrutinib because of toxicity. Sometimes patients will stop, start, or be discontinued on this medication and switch to another medication. So that could account for some of the differences. And there was a hint of a trend toward a benefit between a calibrutinib and xanabrutinib, but that all wholeheartedly was probably explained by the low numbers of patients uh, in the xanabrutinib arm as compared to what we saw with a calibrutinib as a whole, because again, there is no real rational reason to necessarily notice a difference between these two sort of classes of second generation covalent BTK inhibitor drugs. As we move along and get more real-world data sets and more real-world information, uh, we will be able to tease out some subtle differences between the two drugs. Uh, but as a whole, from what we've discovered is that, again, because of the sort of complex picture and uh, what we take as a whole, xanabrutinib appears to be probably a better uh, BTK inhibitor than ibrutinib, mainly probably was suspect because of toxicity and sort of discontinuations. And it seems to be, again, as we suspect, to be equivalent as a second-generation BTK inhibitor to a calibrutinib in this patient population.